16 sum is based on the 8 sum reel but is a little bit more challenging so it's really important to have mastered the 8 sum first of all. Be clear on whether you're an in or an out couple and what that entails and also who you'll be setting with when it's your turn to come into the middle. So we start with eight couples in a square and we number them off one in and two out nearest the band and then three in, four out and that is simply mirrored on the other side. One in, two out, three in, four out. Just make sure you know your number and whether you're an inner couple or an outer couple. The dance starts with a circle just like in the eightsome but obviously 16 in the circle. We then go into a cartwheel and this is slightly different because in the middle of the wheel we have the so-called inner couples, these are the ones and the threes, and on the outside attached to them are the outer couples, the twos and the fours. And the key thing about the cartwheel is that it goes once round only, it doesn't have time to come back. We then follow that by setting twice with partners and spinning, this is just like the normal eightsome. And then we go into the grand chain and this is different again because we have two chains. We have an inner chain made up of the ones and threes, the inner couples, and the outer chain, the twos and fours made up of the outer couples. So we've got two concentric circles basically and you'll notice the outer circle is going round at greater speed to cover the extra distance. We follow the grand chain with tulloch turn just like in the normal eightsome and that concludes the first part of the dance. So into the middle part of the dance now and first in it's the number one ladies doing a tulloch turn and then they go to set with their partners shown in red here on the diagram and opposite their partners shown in light blue. It's a figure of eights with those two men and then the number one ladies back into the middle for a second and final time they do an exact same tulloch turn and this is the important bit who do they go to next they go back to their partner's corner and they find the other man in the same corner as their partner okay their partner was number one so the other man is number four shown here in red and that rule applies to whoever you are in the 16th sum so with that man they set and with the man opposite they set with him and then it's a figure of eight. And if you're doing this right, you'll notice this figure of eight, this second figure of eight, is always at right angles to your first one. So that's it from the first ladies. That's then followed by the second ladies, and so on. They repeat in exactly the same way. After the ladies, the turn of the men. First in, the number one men. They do a set and swing with right arms. And in exactly the same way, they go to face their partners set with them and their opposites set with them. It's a figure of eight with those two ladies and the number one men back into the middle for a second and final time and this time they set and swing with left arms uh, which you can see there and this means they come out now facing their next lady in exactly the same way this is a lady back in the same corner as their partner set with her and the lady opposite and then a figure of eight again at right angles to their first figure of eight and so it goes on next in are the second men and all of the other men follow in turn and when all of the men have had their chance in the middle we then simply repeat the first part of the dance as the grand finale so we're now ready to watch the whole thing through from start to finish 